Hi guys, welcome in. So we are here at a five room unit in Anchorville Isles and to show you where exactly this is, let's pull out the map. There are seven blocks in Anchorville Isles and we are at block 332C. You will get a sheltered walkway to the car park. In fact, if you are someone who drives, this block is the closest to the multi-storey car park. This plot of land is also located next to Sengkang General Hospital. So you are sure to enjoy peace and quiet. It's a hospital in fact. Nearest LRT station will be Cheng Lim Station and that is just one stop away from Sengkang MRT Station. So let's bring up the floor plan to show you the layout of this unit. In this spacious unit, you get the living and dining area. There is also a provision for a study room to be built in the huge living area itself. And also a three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a bomb shelter and a kitchen with a service yard. And that brings the total floor area to 112 square meters. Alright, coming back to the unit, let's show you the flow of this spacious house here. Yeah, very beautiful house. So, starting with the dining area, this dining area sits for uh, four family members, but of course, if you want to have a bigger dining table, you can do that because this is, after all, a very big house. Okay, and the dining area is located right beside the kitchen, the kitchen entrance. So, it's easy flow for you to serve food from the kitchen, right? And moving on to the next location which is the TV console. Uh, the owners have already done up the TV console very nicely. Uh, as you can see, there's a feature wall right at the back here and a suspended TV console. And we're using a mixture of a few different materials. You have wood, you have glass, dark colors, light colors. So it blends in really well with the design of this house. Look at the ceiling of this house. It's very beautiful with cove lights, down lights and all this false ceiling making uh, the unit looks uh, really really segregated and nice right and of course you have a big space right over here very big uh, you can even plong down one bin bag if you want to if not when you're having friends and families over you can always house so many of them in your house very big big big, big spacious house and let me show you the provision for the study area as you can see there's uh, two window panels this wall over here this is where you can build another wall to build your study room all right and that will still leave you a lot of space right over here for the living area so but if you do not want to have a study room you can always have this very very spacious living area now look at the backsplash there they have, they, they have installed four big panels of mirrors uh, very nice you can always look at yourself in the mirror before you head out or if not this helps to make the very big house look even more spacious so let's move on to the bedrooms all right so leading to the bedrooms will be this walkway which will ensure privacy when you have visitors over to your home so let's take a look at the very first bedroom here both common rooms are of similar size and the size is great and you can even fit a queen size bed in the common rooms and still have space for your other furnitures like a wardrobe or a study table. Currently, there are no built-in wardrobes in the common rooms so that allows you the freedom to configure the layout of your furnitures. And another advantage is that aircons have also been installed in all the bedrooms. So what's amazing about this unit is that it has a spacious master bedroom that you can fit a four-door built-in wardrobe. And on top of that, you can still fit in a queen size bed and a kid's bed. So if you want to put in a king size bed, you can still do that and have plenty of space in this bedroom. In fact, it feels so much like a studio unit, except that it's probably missing a kitchen. And this is the kitchen. Comfortable and plenty working space. Left and right, top and bottom cabinets, which looks really luxurious. Look at the countertop, it has beautiful gold flakes on the countertop. It looks very luxurious, yeah? So, the backsplash, uh, they use glass, so it makes it for easy cleaning and maintenance of the kitchen. And right over here, we have the stove, okay? Next to the stove, we have plenty of countertop space for you to place items like the toaster, rice cooker, and the air fryer. And right behind, tucked to the corner, will be the sink, 
a very good position for you to do washing and then cooking at the same time yeah not much movement and next to the sink we have plenty of uh, space for you to prepare your food okay and right over here we have a tall cabinet where normally uh, we will put items like uh, ovens microwave and stuff like that and next to it well, there is generous space for the fridge so let's head over to the service yard and in this service yard we have plenty of space to do your laundry the washing machine over here you can always replace this with the front load and stack a dryer right on top and still have plenty of space right inside here now if you take a look at the view right outside this is really beautiful and there is an unblocked view right over here where it allows for plenty of air ventilation into the kitchen all right so if you like to see the unit do give me a call drop me a text or even slide into my dms and i'll be more than happy to show you around all right and make sure you like and share this video so that all your families and friends can come and see this beautiful unit and if you are on youtube make sure you subscribe to see more videos coming up thank you see you guys around